for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you irregular setback building design by using etap software so i was already done the modeling process for the respected irregular vertical irregularity structure so irregular irregularity basically the irregularity will be consisting of two types one is related to the plan irregularity and one is related to the elevation irregularity in this video i will explain you how to design the building structure if we consider the both the combination of the plan irregularity as well as the elevation irregularity so click on the etaps model here so this is my building model which is consisting of your respected uh, 11 story structure so click on the story one click on apply option click on okay so that it will display the story one uh, plan view for the structure this is the irregularity model so i will show you the vertical irregularity also this is the plan irregularity so click on the 3d rotate option here just i am selecting 3d rotate so now we can see this is a vertical irregularity for the respective structure here okay so here for this building structure i was taking the grade of the concrete is m40 grade concrete provision and grade of the steel is 500 grade steel provision again in the same process i was taking the frame section which is consisting of the beam size is 350 mm cross 600 mm and column size is 600 mm cross 600 mm again in the same process i was consider the load cases which is comes under the dead loading condition live loading condition floor loading condition earthquake loading condition as well as the wind loading condition system okay so after uh, applying all the load cases we need to analyze the structure so for before that we need to apply the fixer supports at the base this time selecting the base option here click on okay option so it was already assigned with fixer support but once i will apply again the fixer support go to click on assign uh, select your respective restraints option select the fixer support click on apply click on okay now we have to do the analysis process for this respected building structure so for that go to analyze option check models option initially i am checking for the joint checks option click on okay so that it will check for the errors if any kind of the errors is obtained then it will show you the message otherwise it will show you the message here like this go to analyze again set load cases to run again so select that respected load cases click on run now option so before that it will ask you to save the model next i am selecting with irregularity irr click on save option so that it will do the analysis process for the respected building structure with the considerations of the both plan irregularity as well as the vertical irregularity okay then after that i will show you the shear force diagram deflection diagram bending moment diagram torsion diagram for particular load cases then after that i will show you how to design this particular both vertical irregularity as well as the uh, plan irregularity combination building by using etap software now we can see this is the deflection diagram for the respected building structure with the considerations of the uh, both vertical irregularity and horizontal irregularity so now initially i will show you the shear force diagram go to display option here click on forces select frame spandrilla force select shear to to option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram then after that if you want to click on the moment three three option click on apply then it will display the entire bending moment diagram for the structure okay so after that we have to click on the torsion diagram so you can click on the apply option so that it will display the torsion diagram for the building structure okay so after analysis process completed we need to design the structure so before that we need to add the strip condition system for the floors okay so here in this case i will add the strip condition system for the respected first story eighth story as well as your 11th story further go to click on edit option click on add edit grid strips click on add edit grid condition select the 7th 11th story select the grid direction is x with strip layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the 11th story grid section condition system again in the same process we have to select the direction will be of y direction condition system just i am selecting y condition with strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the grid section for the respected eighth floor here like this then after that we have to apply the in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the eighth story as well as the first story this time selecting the story number will be of 8 which is of direction x which is a click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, eighth story x direction a grid in the same process you can select the direction will be of y and strip layer will be of b click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system for the eighth story so in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the first story just i am selecting story number 1 which is of direction will be x which is of a direction click on apply so that it will apply the 
story number one, which is of four, direction will be of A. In the same process, we have to apply the direction will be of Y, which is of B. Click on apply option so that it will apply the direction of Y direction with the strip layer is B for the respected first story. So after that, we have to click on OK option. So here in this case, I was taking the design consideration, which is comes under the three types of the slabs. One is related to the first story and one is related to the fifth, uh, say eighth story. Again, the last one is related to the uh, 11th story for the building structure. So after uh, applying the strip condition system, we need to do the analysis. Go to analyze option, set load cases to run again, click on the run over again. So that it will do the analysis process again with the considerations of the strip condition system for the uh, first 8th as well as the 11th story. Now you can see this is a deflection diagram with the considerations of the strips. Now we have to design the beam column as well as the slab. Go to click on design option for that. Concrete frame design. Select the view revised preferences initially. Select IS 456 2000 code. Click on OK. Again click on the design option. Concrete frame design. Select your respective start designing check option. So that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections, column sections uh, for the vertical irregular structure. So now we can see it was done with the designing process. So now we have to design a slab section. Select this respect as slab designing. View revised preferences. Select IS 456 2000. Click on OK. Again, I am selecting this respected option, which is comes under the selection of the stories here. So this time selecting the stories, which is comes under the 11th story, 8th story, as well as the first story. Click on OK. Again, we have to click on the slab designing check in. So click on the start designing check so that it will check the slab designing reinforcement design results for the respected uh, 11th story, 8th story as well as the uh, first story for the building structure. So after that we have to uh, see the results which is comes under the reinforcement values of the beams, columns, slabs. So for that we have to import this particular model to CSI detailing version software. So before that we need to save this particular model by using Ctrl S option. Now we have to close this ETAP software. This time I am opening my CSI detailing version software. So click on the file option here, click on new detailing option, select the model here, this time selecting the model which is related to the width irregularity structure. So click on the open option. So initially the model will be open in ETAP software, then after that it will be directly imported to CSI detailing version software. So now we can see it was importing process done. So click on OK option. So now we have to design the beam section, column section, slab section. For that firstly we have to click on the detailing units. Select as per I, uh, SI system, select the force units will be in kilonewton and select this respective rebar weight will be in ton option. So click on the OK option here. Again we have to select the uh, code provision, this time selecting as per IS2000, 456-2000. Select the concrete rebar rules option, this time selecting the slab section which is comes under the minimum spacing is 120 and maximum will be of 450. Again I am selecting the beam which is comes under the minimum spacing is 150, this is also 150, this is also 150 and uh, maximum spacing will be comes under the 450 value and this value is also 450, this value is also 450. Select the column which is comes under the 150 mm is the minimum spacing and 450 mm is the maximum spacing, click on OK. Again we have to click on the OK option so that it will start designing check your respected model results which is comes under the irregular vertical setback building structure okay so after that we have to see the results which is comes under the reinforcement value this is the reinforcement value for the respected top slab which is comes under the complete rebar reinforcement value just i am clicking on the reinforcement kg option so that it will display the complete reinforcement design results which is comes under this particular floor okay so now we can see this is the reinforcement value which is comes under this fifth slab so you can click on the uh, story number 8 so that it will display the re reinforcement kg which is comes under that particular uh, floor number under considerations of your respective design section so initially it was loaded with loading with top rebar plan option then after that it will loaded with bottom rebar plan option now we can see this is the reinforcement diagram again in the same process if you want to see the beam detailing click on the beam detailing elevation section select any one of the floor this time selecting here now we can see it will display the complete reinforcement design results example like this. Okay, you can click on the rebar KG option so that it will display the complete reinforcement design results which is comes under this beam section. Okay, again in the same process you can click on the column designing section, select this option, elevation section, select any one of the column. So you can click on the elevation one, this is the elevation one, section one. Now we can see it is consisting of approximately of uh, four uh, bars of 
uh, 20 mm diameter for the respected corner here like this again it will be consisting of two bars of 60 mm diameter at the corner here like this this is the uh, rebar cage view it is loading for the respected column section which is comes under the bars of 140 section for the entire column section okay so now it is loaded in the lateral ties now we can see this is a complete reinforcement design results which is comes under this particular column section so this is the complete designing process of irregular vertical setback building by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you